Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watchers. How are you guys? This is the Mystic Leo. My name is Isa. I'm your very favorite Leo. Paws up top. It's good to see you guys. Thank you so much for joining me on my goofy little channel in my strange little part of YouTube. <laughs> um, this is going to be your energy check-in for the week, if I could shuffle. Uh, this is going to be your energy check-in for the week. A lot of you guys that come around here, you already know, we take a look at what we might be able to expect for the week, okay? Um, and any other any other sidebars, messages that the spirits and the things want to come through and say to us, okay? So um, if you've not been here before, welcome. It is great to have you. Thank you so much for choosing this video. And to all the people who keep coming back, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for your love and support. I love you guys. You mean the world to me. Um, we're going to jump right in, okay? So please take what resonates for you. Leo, leave the parts that don't. If nothing resonates in your sun sign, you can definitely check your moon rising in Venus. I have a um, another channel linked down below. It's called the Phoenix Cloud Tarot, where I do all signs. Or you can check out the older Leo readings on this channel, okay? The description box down below has where you can find me on other social media platforms and stuff like that, where you can visit my Amazon store and find lots of interesting things up in there. Um, and last but not least, guys, I want to say I'm currently not doing personals, okay? So um, I will open them up from time to time. Right now is not a good time for me to open them up. But when I do that, I announce it on all my social social media platforms, okay? And I usually do it for about two or three days, all right? Um, and last but not least, last but not least, least, please don't forget, guys, if it resonates for you, put the paw up top. Slap the like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe and then hit that top notification bell. It'll tell you every time I'm uploading, okay? Awesome. Let's go. All right, I already have some cards out because you guys know I like to pull a lot of cards for this because I just like to see a lot of stuff, money, love, career, whatever else. So um, I have some cards already pulled and I'm going to get two of these. Thank you. Sachi, what are you doing? She's being naughty girl today. <laughs> she was just scratching the couch and she wasn't like just scratch like this girl was in a tussle okay let me show you how she, she was scratching and she was like i mean she was like in it i'm like girl what are you doing she was like Mah! like she was in a fight i'm like this cat is so crazy oh lord okay so anyway let's jump into it we have the oh oh beginnings a separation making a new adjustment okay so some of you might be experiencing a separation or walking away from some sort of partnership a situation it could even be a job for many of you okay so um it literally says separation so I feel like you could be moving out or somebody's moving out of your house there's an ending okay there's an ending that's happening here this week. And then we have friendships. This is like the three of pentacles. So this is talking about um, networking with other people this week or connecting with other people. It could even be, you know, um, if you are going through some sort of separation from a job or a person, connecting with your friends where they're really stable, you know, to help you, um, being together with other people to support you at this time. Okay. There could be a third person as well. I don't, Hey, you take it as it resonates. We ain't into the juicy stuff yet. So just hang on. But, um, I'm, I'm getting that there's, uh, you know, um, definitely support with friends here. Okay. I'm seeing a girl with two guys, too. Um, I want to say something about a car. Give me just a second. A leasing a new car. A lease, on, a lease on a new car. And something about your mirrors or your windows. Okay? I don't know why. I feel, I feel like I get windows all the time it's weird all right let's check into some of these cards that i already pulled okay you have the death card and the fear card so death says i'm learning that endings are merely beginnings just to confirm something is over and then there is fear i realize that i'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love okay so some of you um 
maybe somebody you're dealing with like a job you might want to walk away from they don't want to let you go or somebody here is afraid of things being over and ending for good with you okay leo we have believe in the impossible as well with the blue moon so i feel like leo if it's not you hoping that there's no ending and like you know wishing on the stars and believing like that there's a miracle available here then it could be your person i'm getting like somebody feeling really stressed out there could be something here too where maybe your friends like or their friends are trying to support them or like talk to you or you talk to them i don't know leo this is a different type of read i don't know what's up today all i do know is that i was hella dip feeling like all over the are you really gonna do zoomies right now she sure is um i was feeling like crazy kind of all over the place like frazzled i don't even know why i rarely get like that but anyways that was the energy so we have protection and we have family so um i'm feeling like family is being highlighted this week okay and if you are worried about your family please do know that they are being protected at this time okay so never feel the angels is here <laughs> okay never feel the angels is here all right um and they're watching over you and i feel like there's something um if you have some sort of like let's say you have like a high risk pregnancy because that's what's coming up for me um it's like not to, to try not to stress to rest right and be at ease because you are being protected okay um i also feel like there's something that's like a baby to you like a like something that you're birthing for yourself for some of you it could be a book it could be like i get like poetry or writing something like that um and you know it's like you you really are focused on this thing growing and becoming successful you know and you're really looking for you're protecting it uh, any way that you can okay from i feel like being taken from you somehow okay or people stealing your ideas and stuff like that okay interesting that was weird that that came through um, but then we have family. So I see a lot of like family celebrations, outings and family time happening this week as well. Okay. Um, and that's how we do on this channel. Alrighty. We have healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents and release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So again, I feel like this goes along with whatever relationship this is is like it's giving somebody trying to keep the hold okay um and like they deserve you or something like that okay it's really weird sort of energy to me that it feels like i don't know you just want to move away from this person and for me the movement card is showing up less like an energy of self-care right now and more of a, a protecting my energy and moving away from this person or this thing okay this job this thing that just feels unhealthy i feel like you blocking like trying to block energetically something out from your life at this time could be anything could be family members um negative energies people at work okay we have connecting with the crystals all right so um this week it might benefit you to pick up your little crystally friends and connect with them okay i always have them around like on the cards and stuff like that here um you guys usually don't see it because i usually pull my little crystals off but um yeah definitely connecting with crystals might support you and the movement in that getting your body moving right like the blood pumping circulating stuff like that uh, i take walks frequently and it's just it's so good to be outside just to move your body even just the, the bare minimum guys is so beneficial for your health so i feel like there is a nudge for you to get up and do some stuff okay um and two you know if you get sad or depressed and you're feeling like you're staying at home um i feel like friends want to encourage you or have been encouraging you to get out okay something's telling me to grab this card so i'm gonna get it yes 
The answer is yes. The situation or event is right on track at this time. Okay, so if you're wondering about something, the answer is yes. It's a yes, no card. All right. Yay. All right. Um, let's see. I already did those. I did those. Which cards didn't I do? I don't think I did these. Okay. We're going to jump into tarot in just a second. Okay, guys. Let me get one or two more cards. I got the coffee cups, too. I like those cards, so I want to get one or two of those. All right. What else we got here for the Leos? For the Leos. For the Lions. The Lionesses. The Kangs and Quang. I'm in a weird mood today. That's so funny. The, the leadership card came out. Like Leo, like Leos are natural born uh, leaders. Look at that. I said kings and queens. Look at what came out. Yes. Get your crown. Whether you're a king or a queen. All right. Let's taco about it. Taco. Let's taco about it. That's a good one, right? I'm going to do this on a Tuesday so I can be like, it's taco about it Tuesday. Uh, enough of the mom jokes. Okay, you're stepping into a role as a leader. You're ready. I feel like some of you, you know, maybe that's this thing that you feel like you're protecting. Okay, is that you... I feel like you're keeping secrets to you may not be telling people stuff that you're up to and you probably shouldn't because I don't know why I feel like there's an idea stealer in the midst. Okay, but um, it's it's time for some of you, I think, to really put your crown on. You know what I'm saying? Really go out there and roar, shine, show people who you really are. Stepping into a leadership position, maybe in your own company, your own small business. Uh, Etsy. I'm getting Etsy really strong for somebody here. Okay. Um, and the thing is, is that I know it's going to say sound weird. It's going to be weird when I say it, but for every leader, there are people who want to follow, right? Every time you show up in your greatest self, your highest self, your leadership self, Leo, people love that. They love when you love yourself and you are in the position to lead because people want to follow you, Leo. And that's what this energy feels like, okay? Your career is taken off for some of you or it's shifting and changing and people can see that that ability is in you and they want to be led by you, okay? So it's not necessarily following. It's that people want to listen. They want to hear you and they want to be led by you, okay? Um, once you decide, like, and I think you might be doing that right now, deciding to really step into your power, everything's going to start taking off for you. Okay, Leo? Like, don't forget that. When you step into that, when you step into who you really are, things start to flow. That's what we call Kriya. When they don't flow, we call it Karma. Right? I'm not going to do, I was just going to do a mini lesson, but I'm going to hold on to it. Okay. Um, you're following the crowd in fear of putting yourself out there. Don't do what other people do. You were built to stand out, Leo. Don't forget that. We are unlike anybody else. Every time I say Leo guys, I know they're Leo guys. You know why? Because they're weird. I'll wait for you to tell me they're not. Okay, yeah, I'll be waiting here all night. All right. I love you guys too. <laughs> okay. Delegating more can help you increase your earnings. So we have the office card. If you're working as like a staff assistant, an office person, uh, a manager, or working in the office, um, if you're feeling the pressure right now, it's time for you to be the leader, right? And delegate things out to other people. Because why? Because we can't handle everything, right? The plate's really huge, right? And you can put all the little things on the plate, but we can't handle everything. You can't handle everything. That creates so much pressure on you, okay? So delegate things out to other people. Think of the greater good than oneself to achieve a better outcome. So this is about thinking 
outside of the box and thinking of the bigger picture okay i know that sometimes it's hard when you are in a leadership position to feel like you need to control everything but there are times you just get to release that right and delegate it out to other people and this doesn't just go for a career leo this is the we're talking about it because it's in your life somewhere okay I'm talking to the people that have this in their life. I totally get it. You think I will let somebody run my tarot shit? No. But can I delegate somebody to maybe post my Instagram or do? Yeah, of course I can. Okay, so you get where I'm going with this, right? Sometimes we just get to surrender things and that actually helps us to be in leadership, right? To know the right things to do or to know how to work efficiently to work smarter not harder the country was built on people who delegated it to little people <laughs> i sound like a horse's ass right now don't i <laughs> like <laughs> whatever okay you get what i'm saying i came to preach today i think that's what what was going on with me i had all this crazy energy i couldn't set myself down i think i came to preach you know what I need? I need a piano play. I need somebody to be like, <laughs> on an old Korg, like right behind me. All right, we have the lion. Woo, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Nothing but success this week, okay? I feel like you're achieving some sort of success. It could do with the leadership position. This came out in the reverse, okay? So you guys know that sometimes I like to read the cards forward and backward. I feel like there could be, uh, you could be in love with somebody or there's a new love possibility. But let's go back to the energy we chatted about when we first got into this crazy little thing that we call tarot. Um, and talk about the person, why this is in reverse. Okay, because I feel like you're rejecting something. I feel like it's it's over. You know, and I, it's so funny because I get like, baby, it ain't over till it's over. But somebody I don't feel is accepting that it's completed. Okay. So Leo, I feel like you're breaking somebody's heart or something to that effect. Okay. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Not, I'm being such a dick today. I'm so sorry. I'm just in one of those moods. I don't know what's up with me. All right, let's check it out. Give me the overall energy right now. Thank you, the full Aries energy. Yeah, you're having a new start, a new beginning, stepping out into something, into an unknown territory, okay, this week. What else? Talk to me about love. Yeah, look at you. Look at you. You done waited too long. I feel like somebody's coming at you and you're going the other direction. Okay, Leo. So I'm seeing you moving away from an energy. Uh, some of you may have been procrastinating a lot too. And I feel like you're over that energy. But, you know, I also feel like there's something about like uh, rushing, okay? Wanting things very quickly uh, to happen. I almost feel like this is somebody's like last ditch effort. Like they're, they're, um, they're like frazzled, you know? Uh, with the Knight of Swords, it always gives me that frazzled energy. Look at the clouds. They're kind of crazy and the horse is crazy and everybody's crazy. And then maybe I'm crazy, right? I think I'm crazy. Possibly. Um, so yeah, somebody's like going crazy here. I feel like they're losing your their mind because you're on the move out. Okay, you're just like, look, I'm I'm up in the Uber. I'm out. <laughs> All right, what else, please? Show me love. What other messages I need? Yeah, look, some of y'all have to sneak away. You know, it's like, do you got a stalker? What's going on here? Some of y'all are tiptoeing out of this thing, okay? You're just figuring a way out. If Whether you got to lie, cheat, or steal. Some of you are trying to get away from a situation that just it ain't for you, okay? Done is done. Um, and we'll see as we clarify what's going on, but... Somebody's going to have to accept defeat here. And it's not even a game of winning, right? What else, please? Tell me what else with Leo and love. 
Okay, yeah, you're over arguing, uh, you know, dysfunction, um, aggressive behavior. Okay, maybe, you know, I feel like I feel like you're coming up with a plan to just disappear. <laughs> Like, get away from whatever this energy is, okay? It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be anything. All right, guys. Tell me what else, please. One more card. Yeah, the tower. It's a done deal, okay? It's a wrap. This this five of wands, you're, you're over the... Um, it's like it crumbled, you know? It, it crumbled, whatever this is, and I feel like you're over it. You don't want to fight about it. You don't want to talk about it. You don't want... Uh, you know, to continue, you don't even want to feel like um, misaligned energy in your own body right now, okay? What's the challenge for Leo? Show me the challenge. Yeah, that you might regret it or you feel really bad, okay, because you have to hurt somebody. What doesn't Leo see coming? Okay, the strength card, Leo energy, okay? Um, I really feel like that is the energy of support. Um, I feel like it's... I feel like it's somebody help, like help. I feel like it's just support. That's what I feel more than anything, okay? Show me the near future, what's coming in the near future here. Because of this, what's coming? <laughs> the devil, what the fudge? The devil. Is this person coming back around Capricorn energy? Jesus, Louise, what the freak? That one time you're like, I shouldn't have pulled the extra card. I'm going to clarify this because I don't know what the hell the devil is in the near future. But it could be very well temptation, okay, that this person tries to come back around in an attempt to tempt you again to be in a hookup or whatever the hell they got going on. All right. This is a very persistent energy here with the uh, Knight of Swords. What in God's name? Jesus. Son. Mary and the Joseph and the angels and all that. Okay. Why do we have the full card here? Please clarify that. Clarify the full. Oh. Yeah, Leo, you've been very tolerant of this situation. Um, you, I feel like this has matured you in a way that you weren't emotionally mature before with the King of Cups, okay? Um, with the Nine of Wands, you've been really resilient when it comes to love. Um, you're... You know, you've been through a lot of stuff with this particular individual or job or whatever it is for you, and you're not giving up, but you're kind of like, shit, what's next, okay? Because that can be this. You've been through a lot. You've been hurt. You've been bruised, but you still believe in love, and the way you see it now is a lot more mature, but you do want a new beginning. Um you know, you might have some concerns about taking a new beginning here, but I feel like, you know, you're not giving up when it comes to your love life, all right? What is the Knight of Swords? <clears throat> Clarify this. Give me two cards. Thank you. Oh, boy. Yep, here they come again. God damn it. Okay, you got somebody that's aggressively and very reckless here trying to persuade you, okay? They've come at you this way. They're now coming at you this way. It's getting to the point where it's becoming too much here, okay? It's actually aggressive. Um, they might be jumping to conclusions or something like that. Maybe you talked to this person and you were very upfront with them, Um I feel like you're trying to draw this to a conclusion and to stop getting to to get this person to quit um, running you down, Leo. OK, quit chasing you or trying to talk to you or whatever it is. This could be a boss, too. So consider that as well. But we have Knight of Cups. This person is in love. OK, they want to make another love offer. I think you're trying to be empathetic toward this person. Like, I care about you, yada, yada. But this, you know, it's your energy is opposite what theirs is. Theirs is coming a million miles an hour and you're on a skirt. Okay. 
<laughs> for sure. What's the six of swords? What's the six of swords? What's the six of swords? Thank you. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, um, yeah, this is you leaning on your friends, asking for support to help you. Some of you uh, may be leaving a situation that has not been, it's been maybe verbally or emotionally or mentally abusive for you. So you have to lean on other friends here, okay? You're, you're getting strength and encouragement from the people, the community, or the friends that are around you, all right? Um, I feel like there's a, like some sort of, like you're looking for some sort of support here. I don't know if it's financial. I don't know if it's like housing or something like that, but I'm getting that too. Like looking for community programs or something that can help you like WIC or something like food stamps or something like that, okay? I'm getting somebody getting some type of support. Okay, um, because you're not getting it from... A kid's father or from somebody that you're married to, okay, for some of you. Um, why is the Seven of Swords here, please? Why? What? Oh, this person. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's coming out now. This person, um, the sun in reverse. This is Leo energy. So um, this could be that things... This person is not, I don't think they're seeing clearly that you want to be away from them, that you're trying to get away from them, okay? I think it's been, they've been exposed in that um, their secrets have been, have come out, okay? Something about this person has been exposed. Knight of Pentacles, uh, I feel like this is you trying to make progress here to move forward this person could have taken a really long time to do something that they said that they were doing and in the meantime you were cheated out of something that they owed you okay so take that as it resonates for you that could be the relationship it could be the I feel like somebody's dealing with some child support or some type of court issues or you need to go to court with your person or your kid's father okay so there's that. Um, but I feel like you waited a really long time. And for you, you're just moving forward, okay? Because there's nothing else for you to do. This is, the, to me, this is, I'm going to invest in myself, okay, honey? Why is this five of wands in reverse? Why is the five of wands in reverse? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're rejecting this person's offer. They feel rejected because they've been they've been putting all this work in, okay? Um, they were hoping you would too, but, you know, see, like, they're trying to, like, oh, but I'm cool now, like, oh, don't reject me, no, don't do it, okay? Um, but you're disengaging, okay, because you're ready for something else. You're, you're putting work first, yourself first, uh, new relationships, okay? This could be a new job. There could be somebody at your job that is needing and wanting you to stay, asking you to stay, right? Because you're valuable, but the thing is, is people leave jobs because A, they're tired of doing the same shit over and over again, or B, they're never being appreciated and they're not paid enough, okay? So this person's going to have to put up or shut up, and for you... You let them try to put up, now they gotta shut up, okay? So I feel like you're just moving on here. You've learned you've learned something you mastered. You master this can talk about being an apprentice and mastering a skill as well. But I just feel like you're very focused on yourself. Um and you're moving you're moving along. What's the tower here? It's over, it's a wrap. Yeah, Ace of Wands, you do not want a new start with this person. And you're making yourself abundantly clear here, okay? Mine's made up. I've made a decision. I'm clear about it. I'm not going to talk about it again, okay? So this could be like a like a big final decision for you, okay? Why is the challenge to Five of Cups? <clears throat> the Hierophant, because some of you are married to this person, Okay. Some of you are committed to them. Morally, it might not feel good deep down because you're like, damn, you know, I hate to have to hurt people. I hate to have to give it to them like this because Queen of Swords, she, she, she knows, okay? She's smart. This is a smart decision, 
That's what this is telling me. Whatever this is, it's a smart decision. You're turning down a new start, a new beginning here, and you're moving on to something better, okay? So this person, be careful. You're blocking this person, okay? I think you've said what you said. You blocked this person. You're all finished here, all right? Um, you're not, or whatever this opportunity is that's coming toward you. Um, yeah. Okay, what else? What else with this Five of Cups? Two of Pentacles. You know, the challenge is you go back and forth. Am I doing the right thing? Am I, am I being a good person? Am I, is this the right thing to do? Did I say the right things? Am I going to regret this? Uh, you know, am I wrong? Um, that kind of stuff. Like, is it okay for me spiritually? Like, am I okay? Because some of you might have said some things to this person, right? To hurt them. Okay. Why is the strength card here? Ooh, the magician. Okay, let me tell you really quick while I'm right here. Taurus energy, Aries energy, Aries Scorpio, Capricorn, uh, Leo. What else do I have? You could be dealing with one of these signs. That's what I got so far, okay? So there's a huge change that's coming for you, and I feel more like it's an opportunity. You're getting your confidence back, and I think that that's really shining for you with the magician, all right? Um, you're taking your the things that you were holding back on or that maybe this relationship was keeping you from doing, right? Holding you back from doing. And I feel like that's what you don't see coming is that the magic of who you are is now going to be sort of unleashed, right? You're kind of unleashing a part of yourself that you uh, felt stunted while you were in this particular connection or you were doing it because you know of the connection it didn't have to necessarily be because of the person it could have been the connection like something that was going on within it okay and for those of you where this was potentially some sort of job or career that you're leaving you're about to enter this new phase of your life right now where all of that skill everything you learned and you held back on right you now have the support and you now have that inner strength and courage to be and do all of that. You have that confident power that you can create whatever you want. So, you know, that's awesome. Why is the devil the near future? Oh, Lord, because the, oh, Jesus, because this person going to try again. I'm not kidding you. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. First of all, that's bad luck, but I'm not going to say that it's bad, bad luck to you guys because it's not that. This is somebody I feel you might see them in the future and they look, they seem like they have changed. Okay, the wheel of fortune in reverse. They may come, uh, they may appear that way or maybe they have changed a little bit. Um, but this for me just seems to be a return of the devil, the temptation again. Okay, it's back around one more time. What else with this devil? Clarify the devil. Yeah, the Empress. Oh, you could find out they got somebody else pregnant. Um, and if you're not careful, you could end up pregnant by this person, okay? Mm -hmm. Or you may get your person pregnant. I pick You pick your poison. I don't know your situation, okay, guys? But um, I feel like this, again, is this person who, you know, I'm going to say this. Somebody's got a mother wound, okay? It's a mother issue. For this person to like keep, you know, like trying or coming back or pursuing you, right? Because this is not the first reading I've had for this. This is why we have, you know, release your ex and healing the family issues because some of y'all, okay, hard truth, were you've authored this person into your life for a reason, right? I don't mean that in a bad way, but we have to remember that what we think becomes reality, how we feel about ourselves, all of this. There's so many things that come into our choice in a partner, right? Because who here, show of hands, has fell in love with potential? Mm-hmm. 
So, you know, uh, potential is not the real deal, right? So you guys, there's something that I feel like you're healing in whatever this, whatever this is, whatever this ending is, okay, this week. It, it seems like this week is about you getting clear, this person, whoever this is, like, or whatever this is, you're walking away from this thing for the last time. The the job might have got you last time and been like, we'll give you a $5,000 raise. And you're like, okay, fine. Right? But you're not tolerating that anymore. You've had enough of that. And it's, you know, now this person or whatever is in pursuit of you, okay? And they're promising abundance and expansion and all of that. But I think in the near future, you've grown, okay? It's just a temptation, it's a temptation that I don't think you'll give into. That's Libra energy. Yeah, look at that. Ten of swords, you're over it. You're just like, there's no way. Had too much. Too many swords in my back, okay? You betrayed me too many times. You hurt me too many times, and I'm over it, all right? So that's what I'm getting there. It's going down this week, Leo. Damn. Like I said, you're blocking out of energy. It's there. It's like, it's there. Okay, what's the advice? What's the advice for Leo, please? This is an interesting week. This isn't as detailed as some other weeks, I feel like. The tiger, you're being called upon to provide leadership. So trust that you're capable of doing so. Here's leadership showing up again, okay? Maybe you're leading the family. Maybe you're the one who's looked at this week to be making some of the important decisions that other people, you know, around you feel like they can't make right now. Okay. So really like, and I feel like leadership too, in this context of like what's happening with this uh, relationship or this job connection is really about, um, I feel like it's really about you having a breakthrough in like recognizing those qualities within yourself. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I think I said that earlier. So I like this reading a lot. It's a little bit different, it feels like, from the entire week. But I feel like there are important messages in here for you guys. So um, this is what I got for you, my loves. If this did resonate for you, please don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, come on back and shimmy some time later, okay? I'm going to be doing um, probably some more... I want to try to do three or four readings for you guys this week, okay? Because um, I have a little more time than I normally do. I don't know how I did that, but I did it, okay? Um, so <laughs> come on back and see me soon. All right, guys, I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. And thank you so much for supporting my channel, guys. I truly do appreciate you, Leos. I hope you have a beautiful week. Mm -hmm. Bye.